The patient is in supine position with the arm abducted to 90 degrees at the shoulder, the elbow flexed to 90 degrees, the forearm externally rotated. The landmarks are the pectoralis major and the axillary artery. The puncture point is at the most proximal palpable location of the axillary artery, generally at the level of the pectoralis major. After skin disinfection, insert a 50 mm insulated needle at 45 degrees, just above the axillary artery. Progress the needle until sheath penetration, usually evidenced by a characteristic click and loss of resistance. Then advance the needle through the neurovascular compartment parallel to the artery without meeting resistance. Confirm the correct needle position with a nerve stimulator set above 1 milliamp. In this case, flexion of the wrist and fingers caused by stimulation of the median nerve. Find the optimum needle location while progressively lowering the current to the minimum needle intensity that still maintains motor response. In this case, 0.5 milliamps. After careful aspiration, a 1 milliliter test dose will stop the motor response and 35 milliliters of local anaesthetic can then be injected. Withdraw the needle and redirect it slightly laterally to the artery to achieve an additional block of the musculocutaneous nerve. The nerve stimulator is reset at above 1 milliamp. Progress the needle until elicited motor response, flexion of the elbow. Find the optimum needle location, lowering the current to 0.5 milliamps. After aspiration and a 1 milliliter test dose, inject 5 to 6 milliliters of local anaesthetic. To complete this technique, block the intercostobrachial nerve and medial cutaneous nerve of the arm by performing a subcutaneous infiltration of 4 milliliters of local anaesthetic without epinephrine, progressing the needle from front to back on the medial side of the arm.